things that most of you would not know by just reading the paper is how easily this paper came together, relatively speaking, for having four um, people with different backgrounds, you know, some of us more from IT, others more deeper into analytics, but um, it was quite a pleasure to work on this paper, and um, we believe it gives a nice foundational um, introduction to the work that IIC is doing in the analytics area um, by giving you um, a taste of the different areas and considerations that uh, go into it. Uh, the white paper is the outcome of collective effort among all these orders here, and uh, everyone drive the, uh, uh, the, 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 um, the work from different, uh, direct, uh, from different directions, bring about their rich and diverse uh, uh, background experience into producing this white paper, and uh, everyone you know, um, uh, deserves uh, uh, credit uh, in terms of driving it. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I also want to add that you know, uh, because we come from different experiences, from different uh, uh, technical areas, not that we always agree on you know, any given <laughs> points, but the great thing is that we through debate, yeah. and a mm -hmm. lot of them actually, and, and it eventually we come, up, uh, come, up, come down to you know, uh, an agreement on the very important questions. And, and we think also that it fits in with the vision of the IIC, that um, when we think about what the, I, the Industrial Internet Consortium can do uh, um, for its members is to really accelerate the adoption and uh, use of the Industrial Internet of Things uh, in transformational ways. And we think about analytics as really where the value gets created. Everything else is really just kind of the infrastructure and the necessary parts. But when you think about the analytics, that's where you can take the data and the subject matter expertise uh, and put it together into uh, to satisfy value propositions that are necessary to um, continue moving forward. So, having worked in the financial industry and a few other industries, um, the major differentiator is the physical aspects of the industrial internet. Basically, when you analyze data that's going to have safety or physical consequence, somebody can get killed or injured or um, you can have damage to property, and there's direct consequence. And the time also, the, the um, determinism of the analytics. When you make a decision, and that effect, decision immediately affects something physical, that has immediate impact. And you have to make decisions in split seconds. And the analytics that we're developing have to be proven, they have to be reliable. It's a whole different, that's one reason why if you look at like, the difference between like IT and OT systems, OT systems, tend to be very static. They don't change very often because of the danger of changing anything may introduce a problem that will down the road cause somebody to be injured or cause damage to the equipment or parts or loss of money and loss of life. So when we consider the type of technologies that we're putting out there right now, the type of analytics that we're going to be deploying on industrial systems, we really have to consider provability that the fact that you know, decisions that these systems are going to be making are going to have to have a much higher bar. So thinking about the, yeah. the architecture, I know our colleague Shiwan mentioned at the beginning that he's been, uh, he's co-chairing the architecture. Where would you see the um, analytics fitting in relative to an IIoT architecture? Well, great question. Thank you, Will. Um, if you look at industrial internet of things, uh, what's the core concept of uh, industrial internet of things? It's really about by applying the internet technologies and to extend the boundary of the uh, internet to the things, to the, the uh, machines, and by connecting the machines with the business processes, with the business information system, and with the people who are managing these systems or using systems. And through that connectivity, we will be able to collect large amount of data and apply it the advanced analytic to those data to gain insights into the operational state of these machines and devices. And from there, uh, we want to drive the intelligent operations of these machines and, and, and devices. And from there, we want to create value, right? new values, a new way of uh, enable um, 
new capabilities that we would not be able to have in, uh, uh, before. For example, we can use the assets much more efficiently, we can keep uh, uh, increased uptime, and we can reduce the maintenance costs, and all these good uh, 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 projects we can apply to the assets. So to me, um, data is a new field for the um, uh, uh, industrial internet, and the industrial analytic is the new engine for creating new values in these new um, environments. Where do you see industrial analytics deployed? Or how do you see it differentiation between you know, edge, cloud, fog, all these different areas? That's a great question. So, you know, before joining the IIC, I, you know, I had my own visions of you know, where things went based on, our, on my experience. One of the really nice things about the Industrial Internet Consortium is it really brings together a diverse set of people from both the IT and the OT world. So there's a lot of uh, thinking about the fact that this should sit up in the cloud um, or uh, more recently, you know, right at the edge. Um, I, I believe the reality is it's probably a hybrid or a combination of both, depending on what the requirements are. That I think there's a, there's a saying that, that I've heard multiple times that, that data is the new currency in the world. And from that perspective, I think we've all touched on the fact of how analytics is not this kind of a thing that sits out there by itself. But I, as Will described, you know, we want to push top down, get into all the different layers. In addition to that, one of the initiatives that we've taken on is to try and build an ecosystem around some of these deliverables that we do in, uh, in IIC. For example, one of the relationships that we have built between IIC is one with ISO IEC JTC1 Working Group 9 that's focused on big data. As you've heard the theme here, you know, we're trying to look at data, convert data into, into insights. Ultimately, that's really what the business community cares about. Um, and in order to do that, there are many pieces that come into play. Big data is an emerging area that we have identified both within analytics as well as our reference architecture. And we believe by building relationships like this, it can help, you know, it's symbiotic between what we do um, and what they do. The thing about the IIC and about the industrial internet is it's just an emergent area. I mean, this is an area that has just started, what, we started three years ago or so with the IIC? And based on the 27th. Right? Yeah, and there's still a huge amount to do. This is like a completely open area. People have been working on collecting data from industrial equipment, but it's never been this level of focus, this level of attention on the industrial domain. We're talking about a whole change in culture and economy, and this is really the beginning of it. And we're seeing the beginnings of the emerging technologies and the companies that are kind of leading the um, drive to make this happen. If you're thinking about engaging in the, uh, in the IIC, we've talked a lot about the technology aspects that, um, mm -hmm. that we've been working on. We touched a little bit on building uh, coalitions and ecosystems through liaison. But we have a few other exciting areas where analytics touches upon, you know, one of which that comes to mind is security. Um, I think going back to this notion of data is the currency of today, then um, associated with that would be security and privacy concerns. And we have an entire working group that's uh, looking at that and has put out their own uh, framework. Uh, we look forward in the future to more deeply exploring that intersection. Uh, we have a connectivity framework, I think that Eric mentioned, and again, analytics would, would play into that. We also have a, uh, a business solutions and life cycle working group um, that's looking at use cases and best practices where we could touch on. And, and last but not least, we have a testbed working group that um, is putting together these experimentational platforms with new and emerging technologies. Again, you know, looking down the road, this could be a nice area where analytics can um, uh, can be uh, can be proven out. Yeah, I cannot agree more. Unless yeah. I could not agree uh, uh, more with you. <laughs> and uh, it's, yeah, this is uh, emerging. And uh, if you want to have an impact uh, in in what is being developed, I think it's the right time mm -hmm. uh, to join us here. And because if you look at, I, I appreciate what we are bringing up, you know, big data. And uh, I also add to that machine learning. Uh, all these tools are now uh, has been enriched, developed, 
and uh, I think uh, provide you know very in, uh, a rich tool set for the industrial internet. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's, it's a great time uh, to come in here and 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 and, and provide the impact um, uh, to to the uh, this uh, uh, great development. And and I would say that um, looking forward to the framework, one important aspect of it is that there is such a diversity in the innovation and ideas that have already happened and what can come in the future. It's transforming so rapidly that when we think about a framework, it needs to evolve and adapt to someone who might be just graduating from high school uh, today and then going into college and coming up with a completely novel and revolutionary way of taking care of data and turning it into value. Yeah, just one more. Build on what you guys are saying. I want to also just make sure that everybody understands IIC is also a global organization. We touch on almost all countries. This isn't just in a, a movement in the U.S. This is a movement in almost every country around the world now. And the industrial internet is really a focus if you look at Industry 4.0 and 2025 in China and Japan. And there's every company in every country is now looking at the industrial internet as a new form of business advancement and. Um, technology that is going, they're looking at how can I get a piece of that action, how can I get into this and be part of the solution and figure out how our company can align with the changing environment. And one last comment, um, if you're thinking about getting involved, we would strongly encourage you <laughs> to come in and join the IIC, mm -hmm. it's an exciting time, I think our little project here, mm -hmm. uh, maybe not so little, but we've touched mm -hmm. on um, quite a bit of foundational work in analytics, but there's a lot of other exciting things to do. If, if this catches your interest, we highly encourage you to um, reach out and uh, try to join IIC.